Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm the Bossy Diva. And in preparation for uh, my son Joshua's birthday, I started about a week ago writing a tribute to him, uh, seeing that this is the 10 year point. Uh, he'll be 10, which means I've been a mom for 10 years. And I wanted him to have something um, special. I'm getting nervous, wow. I wanted him to have something special for 10. Um, because it marks, like I said, 10 years, a whole decade of my life. Um, that, and, and I wanted him to know how these uh, 10 years have meant so much to me and what he means to me. And I, I wanted to write a tribute to Joshua. And I think that it is, I don't necessarily believe in coincidences. Um, a friend, and she knows who she is, called me a few nights ago and uh, retooling and revamping and revisiting the, the Bossy Diva has been very heavily on my mind for months. Um, a lot has ha happened. Um, and I think that it's going to be useful for my video blog, but I'm not going to make this very long, but the, what she said was uh, in part um, that what I have is all that I need to, to make this dream work. Um, and, uh, and I always intended for uh, the Bossy Diva to, to draw from my personal experiences. And so I am sharing something uh, with you guys uh, as, I, as I pick this project back up. Uh, I don't think that it's accidental that it is um, my son's birth month that it is the, the 10 year anniversary of motherhood for me uh, and, that, um, and that I am uh, reopening my video blog and myself with this tribute to my son. And it is called, I apologize for that. It is called 10 years ago, bear with me. Ten years ago, I had a dream. My dream involved building a career and starting a practice and writing a book and running more consistently. My dream involved accepting my singleness and my childlessness and, and happily accepting both. My dreams made me feel focused and in control. I had a plan and I was planning to stick to it. 10 years ago, I hit the ground running, chasing this dream. At that time, 10 years ago, my dream didn't include you. Then came you 10 years ago. And I, I don't lie to you. My first thoughts went to my dreams and my fears over not realizing my dreams and my fears of what others would think of me. Would they think that I had abandoned my dreams? Then came you 10 years ago and those I needed most left my side and those who replaced them at my side could not walk the full measure of my journey with me. Then came you 10 years ago and it was just you and me. It is said that God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And 10 years ago, a battle ensued that I had not anticipated. I went into that battle scared. A lone soldier on a strange and vast battlefield, wielding a sword that felt too heavy, fighting a fight that felt too fierce, but shielding a life more precious than my own, so I fought. So I fought. More than a little scared. More than a little embarrassed. More than a little insecure. 
more than a little uncertain, more than a little hurt, more than a little angry, more than a little broken. 10 years ago, you were the turning point in that battle. At that turning point, 10 years ago, I became more than a little determined, more than a little defiant, more than a little daring, more than a little different, more than a little resolute. You made me more than I had ever been in my life. And for you, my sweetheart, I fought like I've never fought before. I fight like I've never fought before because 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I brought you home to a house that wasn't ours. I told you it wasn't ours and guess what you did? True story, you smiled at me. 10 years ago, I drove you around in an 11 year old car and guess what you did? You cooed and happily played in the back seat. You accepted me. You accepted me and my shortcomings and my faults and my disappointments and my failures and all the things that made me feel unworthy of you. 10 years ago, a grown girl became a grown woman. 10 years ago, not knowing if I could, I did. And it's 10 years later. 10 years later, because you pushed me, I push myself. You inspire me in ways you won't understand until you're writing a tribute to a much beloved child. 10 years later, I still dream dreams, but not of myself and not for myself. I dream of us. 10 years later, my dream is global. My contribution to the world is you, and I work to make the world worthy. 10 years later, I worry more, but I pray more. 10 years later, I'm still scared, but I don't yield to fear. 10 years later, when insecurity, uncertainty, hurt, anger, brokenness, when they try to hold me, they can't. Because you've grown me, and I'm too big to be bound. 10 years later, the battlefield is still vast, but I stand on it, battle scarred and beautiful, with the, with the glow of love illuminating me, my sword lifted with strength from your dependence on me and emboldened to attack the impossible by your trust in me. 10 years ago, an evolution began and daily I change, and daily I grow, and daily I love you more and more, all because 10 years ago I became your mother. For these 10 years, Joshua, and for the decades to come, I thank you. I love you, son, immeasurably. Happy 10th birthday.